Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. This is way back. Walk the ball. Let's tell What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by Matt Moreno and Matt. Julio Urias has some new hardware to take home. He wins the Warren Spahn Award, which is given to the best left-handed pitcher in Major League Baseball. This is his second consecutive year winning this award, and I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's a no-brainer for Urias to take home this award, one of the best pitchers in all of baseball, but definitely the best lefty. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it, it's an award that I admittedly had sort of forgotten about, even though he won it, like you said, in 2021. And so, and that made sense. And I think he had another strong year uh, this past season. And so for him to be recognized again, it, it uh, is certainly warranted and valid, valid. And, you know, the award specifically takes into account wins, ERA, and strikeouts. And that's, uh, you know, it's, it's an old school type award, I think you could say. There you go. All the Matt Moreno stats. They love it. It's like we need the batting average equivalent and you'll just be in heaven. Uh, it is funny looking back at the history. So this award is given out by the Oklahoma um, Sports Hall of Fame. And the Dodgers have actually, a Dodger has won this award six of the last 11 times, as you would imagine. Clayton Kershaw has won this award four times. As I said, Urias now has won it back-to-back years. And again, you look at his stats from this past season. Uh, led the National League in ERA, second in all of Major League Baseball. Um, had some of the best uh, 17 and 7 a record had some of the best sort of numbers across the board as you said it's kind of an old school award which probably works in his favor because his his traditional metrics were the most impressive numbers he had although I would argue that his stat cast stuff stacks up against the rest of the league um, really really well um, in the same vein so uh, again Urias wins this award I mean I'll just ask sort of a fun question here do you think he wins it again next year Ooh, that's tough. Um, I don't think so, and it's it's no it's no slight against him. I just think that it's tough. I, I, it's it's tough to win it multiple times. And you know, Clayton Kershaw and Randy Johnson are have both won it four years in a row. They're the only pitchers who have done that. Uh, but to do it a third year, you know, I just think I, off the top of my head, I feel like you know maybe a Max Fried could potentially uh, put together a strong twenty twenty three season and sort of pull the award away from Julio. Yeah, it, it is interesting because it does feel like there's you look down the list of lefties and, and it's kind of like Urias, Kershaw and Freed. And that's sort of it. I mean, you've got Blake Snell sort of lingering. Um, Ryu has won this award before, but you just kind of go down the list and there's not a ton of of guys. Patrick Corbin, one of the last guys to win it as well. So it's a nice little award for Julio because it, there seems to be a Darth of left handed pitchers in Major League Baseball. So good for him. But I, I would just say for a guy who seems to get snubbed a lot when it comes to award season, and I don't mean snubbed as in treated unfairly as much as just like he seems to come up short in some of these awards because there's always a guy who's just a tick better than he is. Uh, I'm glad for him that he gets something to recognize how good he has been. So again, Julio Urias wins the Warren Spahn Award given to the best left-handed pitcher in Major League Baseball awarded by the Oklahoma Sports Hall of Fame. Uh, kudos to Julio. We're glad that he's back and he's the ace. He's the ace for the Dodgers in 2000. 2000- 23. That's Matt Moreno. My name is Jeff Spiegel. As always, thanks for joining us. Please subscribe. Bring the notification bell here. Check out Dodger Blue 1958 on social media. And of course, DodgerBlue.com has a full write-up on this award and so much more going on with the Dodgers. So check that out as well. Enjoy the rest of your day. And as always, go Dodgers.